The Bengals and the Jaguars. Jacksonville was 2-0, but Tom Coughlin's team trying to snap a five-game losing streak. Dick LeBeau and the Bengals looking uh, perhaps to go 5-3 if they can win it. John Kitten had a 300-yard day. Here's the world-famous Kitten to T.J. Hosh Manzana connection. Hosh Manzana. <laughs> Hosh Manzana. Peter Warwick here, and both of those tricky Bengals. Well, watch the young receiver. He's going to push T.J. Slaughter inside, then go outside, block Fernando Bryant. That's a great job by a wide receiver helping Corey Dillon to get into the end zone. Bengals lead 13-7 at the half, and the third mark for another Jimmy Smith. They're just so good at this. They're just so good at it. 14-13 Jaguars. Next drive, Brunel looking for Smith again. Who wouldn't? Artrell Hawkins called for pass interference, and then to add to it, Takeo Spikes on sportsmanlike conduct. So he had at the penalties, 52 yards on one play of penalty. So then it's Stacy Mack, touchdown, 21-13, Jackie Wired. Brunel, later third, rolling. That's just a pretty pass to a wide open Keenan McCardell who fires it in the wall. And the Jags lead 28-13. John T, get out of there. Get out of there. Get out of there. Go forward. It doesn't matter. <laughs> at this point, the game is over. Safety. Jacksonville. Well, that, that feeling hasn't been around since almost summer, right? Since the two weeks in uh, in September. But they look good there. 30-13 to 13 for the Jags, holding Dillon to 58 yards. That's the key. You come out, you hold Dillon to 58, you put the onus on John Kittner to have to win the football game. This team has a problem throwing the ball.